What's happening, YouTube? H. Chainer Kaki here, back again, once again. And today, guys, today, um, it is December 31st, Christmas Eve, not Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve. Um, wow, way to go to fill that. Um, <laughs> And it's been a while since I put something on the channel, and it's completely my fault. Um, I've been dealing with a lot um, this past two months, so videos have been minuscule, if any. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but got a new setup and everything. Um, Got some extra stuff hanging out in the back now. Um, I got another bookshelf. But two thousand eighteen has not been a good year. Um, in the sense of productivity, being motivated, what have you. Um, actually had a death. Um, was it two weeks ago? And still dealing with that. Um, it was someone close to my immediate family and friends. And it, it hit us on a surprise because it was at a party that I was in charge of. And so it responsibility kicked in before I could in, end up mourning at all so um, so yeah dealing with that still um, my depression has definitely not made things easy um, in a sense of depression it's created a unmotivated atmosphere for me and so that's a few things I want to end up changing in the future because I love this channel. I love the games that I'm playing. Uh, I have so many new projects I want to do, but I can't do them if I'm still stuck in the same projects right now. Um, Crystal's at like 28 episodes. Um, we have another, what is it, six maybe to end up getting through the Johto region and then we're into Kanto. And so that's going to go on for another, I'm looking maybe March, hopefully March to get done and all said and done with that one. Um, but yeah, uh, we got that one, but I've decided to end up making goals for myself because we still have Tales of Berseria I have not touched in a while. Um, yellow version, which I'll get back to that one. That one, that one I got two choices to work on um, for that one. And then Final Fantasy X. So I'm going to start out with that. Um, Tales of Berseria, I've rendered everything that I've played so far. Um, so I'm, I just need to upload two more videos. Literally, I have, it's at episode 7, I have two more episodes to drop. Two more. I haven't played more than that. I haven't played it since August, if I remember right. Um, and it's upsetting because a game's beautiful, I love the game, I love the story. I just haven't had the motivation to sit down and play for an hour a day in it or more um so that's that one i'm trying really hard with making sure that the games are entertaining they look good and stuff like that but when it comes to tales i'm using xsplit for tales just to let you guys know and it's it lags quite a bit and it upsets me I, I do not like the fact that I have a laggy video when I'm playing. So, I'm going to 
to try to see if I can't do something else about it. My computer definitely is an old one, and it's it was a hand-me-down, so I can't complain. It's something to get me started. But I'm working towards this year, this new year, to end up changing that, to get something new. Um, a better computer that I can work with. Maybe a dual monitor system, too. Oh my god, two monitors! Which I really want, like, three monitors, so I can end up just work on a project here, and... Or my recording here, my game's playing right here, and I have what I need to end up getting done, my goal list, or whatever. Which, that's something I'm gonna have to start working on next, is a goal list of what I want to get done. Um, on each each one but next final fantasy final fantasy i've literally played like 48 episodes i have 48 episodes recorded i have 28 of them rendered so what you guys see so far is what i have rendered and then maybe six episodes after that maybe four a little less than that um so i gotta finish rendering all those episodes there that's 48 episodes total that i've done and you guys only have like half of them. And that's that's completely on my part. It's, and I'm sorry, I've, I've been failing. Um, I love Final Fantasy X. I've literally stopped because I had the grind. I have the grind in there still to get ba back to playing. And it's just like, I didn't want to be tedious on it. I just had to be able to sit down and grind for two or three hours and get my team ready for the next major battle. Crystal, like I said, March, we should be done and ready to move on to the next um, project um, that I have lined up. I'm loving Crystal. The team is looking really beautiful. I really don't see any reason why I should lose any more team members. Um, but that's the whole exciting part. Why, why not lose team members? Because I play smart. I play too smart. That's why I dialed it up like 10%, and I'm definitely, if we end up making it through Johto without any issues, and then jump into Kanto, I, and then finish it with no issues, uh, if we beat this game, I'm definitely going to have to do something different for the next one, because I feel as if the beginning of the game... And Crystal was very difficult because I got, in a way, both helped and shafted at the same time. Um, and I missed out on like six encounters, like stupid good encounters I missed out on. But we made up and finally got up to um, where we are now. Um, but I definitely feel like I'm going to have to do something different if that's the case, because I don't feel like it's challenging enough, which is bad. It, I mean, it, it's not entirely bad, but I don't feel like I'm entertaining enough because there's always going to be people out there going, I want you to lose Mons, kind of things. Like, what? What's? how's it so in, um, you know, entertaining if you know, I'm not struggling, you know? And I put implements on me. I'm, I'm doing the Nuzlocke rules. I'm doing everything I can to end up making sure that I'm entertaining em enough. If I'm not doing enough, just let me know. Um, which leads me into the next project that we're still working on is Yellow Version. Yellow Version... <sighs> Yellow Version was supposed to be something that finished up with Red. And that didn't um, red version's already done. It's been done for a while. And yellow version is still not finished. Ten episodes. I'm not, I'm not happy. I'm not satisfied. Um, and that really comes down to scheduling. Um, it's very difficult to get two people on the same time schedule. That's why co-ops are such a pain in the keister for um, gamers product, uh, or content creators, I should say. Um, 
because you got to work with somebody else's schedule and you can go months especially around this holiday season you can end up going months without having anybody there on the same schedule you know so i'm i'm not entirely sure how i'm going to what i'm going to do with yellow in all honesty there's a big option of just scrapping it um which hurts it hurts my heart it really does because i i'm really enjoying having the guys over and everything but they're going through some things for their channel and they're dealing with their scheduling and stuff and it's really difficult to get four people in this darn room to do the goddamn project so i don't know i I might have to do another update on that. Or I might just finish it on my own. You know? Um, it really it really depends. Because I, being a completionist and a perfectionist, I really hate having a project not finished. And that's what's been bugging me. Before I can move on and do new things and, move, uh, and achieve more, I have to finish the projects I'm on. I cannot scrap a uh, project. That's that's how I feel. Even if I'm not getting any out of it, I don't care. I do not care. I This is for me more so than anything else. I have to complete these games. Um, which leads me to the next thing of... I... I had a schedule for uploads. And that wasn't working. Um, because I was like, yeah, I got a schedule, and I'll drop. Boom, 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 boom. And one type of schedule worked. That, say, that, that schedule I'm talking about worked for one series, but it didn't work for another one because I didn't have it recorded and uploaded and stuff like that. So um, I need to end up working out a schedule where I... I have an editing day, I have a render recording day, and a uploading day. Um, or, in all honesty, just... The way that I'm going to set it up is that every day there's going to be a video. I'm going to try that. Um, and see what I can do. And so, starting in the new year, starting tomorrow, um, if not today, when this drops... I'm going to I'm going to start dropping a video a day. So, I really have to at least at least a video a day. I really have to end up getting better at making sure I have my videos edited. I have to make sure that my videos are on their schedule and everything and I will have a personal date of when I drop those videos. Um and I might go over here and do a, like a a picture of it, a little layout, and send it on Twitter and stuff like that, and post it on Facebook and stuff, um, and get that knocked out. Because if as long if I set up a schedule and I stick to it, I know I can do it. There's only one issue that's going to get in the way of that: my work, um, my personal work. I do work a full time job, like. 48 hour plus job so being able to take that time out of my day of going to work may it be like mid in the middle of the day that takes away so much time and so much sleep so I definitely have to work out my schedule corresponding with my work schedule because unfortunately my work schedule is not solid it's not on a, a freaking uh, shift pattern so I, it, it's literally going to do this number I have to flux until I get to a position where I don't have to um, and that's a schedule that's actually solid and, and not struggling um, other things is, is that I, I don't feel entertaining enough because 
I don't feel entertained. Um, I, it, whenever a content creator is not motivated and just feels like they're sluggish and just grinding through a series, um, they lose motivation. And that goes with anything. Like, I, I have a bad habit of, like, my Pokemon games, I'd have a goal. And I'll end up finishing half of it. And then it's just like, I don't want to play this anymore because I don't want to play it. Like, I'm not motivated. I'm not entertained right now. I, I have to grind for two hours. And it's just like, it's, I don't want to do that right now. I, I just want to have story. I just want to roll through it, you know? Um, and... That's not a thing that can happen. Um, so finding ways to entertain myself, finding ways to be entertaining is a major goal for me. And I'm just going to let you guys know, I am literally explaining my goals I wrote for myself. Look, oh, like, look at that. I went in here and I wrote goals for myself for the 2019 year. And I want to kind of like 2019 resolutions, you know? And I want to end up keeping entertaining. I want to keep entertained. And I feel I have a lot of projects I wanted to just jump into. Because um, I got them set up and they look freaking amazing. And I feel like I would have a blast because some of them cover things I've never played before. So it's like, ooh, something new, right? Um... And that leads into why I want to set goals for each game. So that keeps me entertained, keeps me motivated. It's like, hey, I got this goal today in this episode. This is what we're knocking out. We got boom, boom, boom. This is what I want to do. So for instance, Crystal, I want, we end up stopping in Goldenrod. So in the next episode, I want to knock out Team Rocket and then make sure my team is at a certain level and then... Um, make it, make sure that I got all the items and stuff that I need and end up getting, and then move on to the next episode would be Ice Cavern, um, make it to Blackthorn City, talk to everybody, get new encounters, you know, things like that, and then just keep on going and just mark them off going, check, 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 yes, we did it, awesome, so we feel accomplished, and then anything we don't get done, we move on to the next one, you know, um, and I don't feel like I've been doing that enough. Especially in Crystal. Crystal, I've been all over the place. I literally... I remember one episode was like, Hey, we're gonna do this! And I literally went the complete opposite way. Went all the way around the freaking uh, place. And then pop up and go, Well, we didn't do our goal today! But we got a bunch of items! Yay! Um, and I don't feel like that... That should be a thing. I, I should stick to the plan, get something done, and then make sure my goals are set up accordingly. Um, what else? <laughs> um, and then I also want to do update videos like this every two months. Um, let you guys know how the series is going. If I'm being entertained, are you guys being entertained? That gives you an opportunity to let me know and say, hey... I feel like if you did this and stuff like that, I'll throw it in the suggestion box, you know? Um, and really give me a, a look out as like, hey, I really love this content. Have you tried this? Because I'm still learning. I'm still trying to end up uh, getting new ideas and stuff like that because I want to get better at editing. I want to get better at layouts and stuff like that and uh, thumbnails and all this stuff. I, I really want to get better at this because this is not a job. I'm not getting paid off of this. I'm not making any money whatsoever because, I mean, let's be honest. Look at my view count down, uh, down here at the bottom. Then look at my subscriptions. I'm not making any money. <laughs> this is really my hobby. I want to build on this. I, I mean, if I start getting paid for it, all the more bonus on that. But this is me. The, I've always wanted to be an entertainer. I've always wanted to be out there doing entertainment. Um, doing voices. I, I mean, I grew up doing Pokemon noises. I grew up doing different voices and, uh, uh, for voice acting and stuff like that. And practicing and 
getting better, you know? So if I could keep improving on my content and working, because you got to realize something is that I'm doing everything by myself. I am doing the editing, I'm doing the color splashes and stuff like that. I'm doing everything you see, the recording, editing, you name it. I do everything myself. I, I don't have someone else in the background doing the edits or doing the uploading and stuff like that. So it is fully me and I'm doing the best that I possibly can, but I feel like I could do better. So, um, that... So an update video definitely go with, hey, this is my progress so far. What do you guys think? Um, and tell you how my life is going. Because life has been kicking me in the teeth this year. And I'm looking for a better year next year. Um, and I wish all you guys a better year in 2019. If you haven't had a good one. And if you had, good on you. Let's continue it, you know? Um... And I literally came down to the, broke down, and I have to take care of myself. If I'm not healthy, I'm not happy. <laughs> um, that pretty much goes for anyone. My back injury has literally put a damper on me this past year. But I definitely feel like I'm getting stronger and better, and I'm able to do things um, that I didn't before, you know? So, it still hurts. I still have that pain in my back, but it's more like a dull pain now where I can ignore it and move on. So, that's getting better. It's just my mental health that I really have to take care of. People go to here and think the depression is just a, oh, it's a floozy and stuff like that. And me growing up, I've had friends that always had issues with depression and stuff like that. I never did. I was always that kid that was the one that everybody talked to, was the one that everybody's like, hey, I have this issue. I was like, yeah, sure, I'll help you out. I was a guy. I w you, you always know that in high school or in school period or in your friendships, you know you got that one guy. That one guy you know you can trust with a deadly secret that could ruin you, but he's not going to say Jack because he cares about you. He really doesn't care about the situation or he's got your back. You know that he's there for you. He's there to support you and you can tell him anything. Or her, or her, not, not trying to be uh, segregating anyone out there. But I was that guy. I was that one person that anyone in school, like, I have a secret, I have this crush, or I have something that I need to get off my chest, or I just need someone to talk to. I was that guy. I was that guy that everybody came to, and... For the first time in my life this year, I struggled. I be whenever you're the guy that everybody goes to and you try to cheer up and you make them smile, you're going, Yeah, I'm the guy that can give you the advice. But when the guy goes and falls in a hole and isn't able to get out, who saves them, you know? Who saves me? And that was my biggest issue, is that why... How am I getting through this without having suicidal thoughts, without having just, just giving up, you know? I didn't know how to fight it. I, I did not know. Um... And being stubborn that I am, I grew up being independent, and if you got to do something, you do it yourself, get it done the right the first time, and move on. 
I wasn't able to do that. I wasn't able to end up just pushing through it like, yeah, I defeated it in one day. No, it's just, it d didn't work like that. So, dealing with all the death that I've had to deal with this year, with animal deaths and friendships and all kinds of things happened this past year, I want to look back and remember and push on. I'm not trying to forget them, I'm trying to learn from them, and my depression is one of those battles that I apparently will never finish fighting. Um, and that's coming from experts, that's coming from other people, so I am taking care of myself, I am looking to end up bettering my self-esteem, my life. Um, doesn't mean I'm ter it doesn't mean I'm not terrified at all, this is all get out, but... If I did not have my friends that I have, or my family, or my wife, especially my wife, if I did not have my wife, I would not be standing here or sitting here talking to you guys right now. So I have to take that into consideration. And Megan, if you're watching this, I love you. I appreciate you, and you do so much for me. Even if I don't say it, I really, really appreciate you. You're beautiful, you're gorgeous, your heart is always in the right place. And I couldn't be happier, and I couldn't have married a better person for me. I love you. But moving on, not just for this channel, I'd like to end up improving and building on my Twitch stream. Yes, I do have a Twitch. No, I haven't recorded or um, streamed very much on there because I was dealing with the issue of lag. And I think that was due to me not being hardwired into my router. So I had to check that. Um, which I'm plugged in now. I'm a hardwired now. So I want to end up testing it out, do some streams. Um, and do some projects over there, record them, and drop them on to YouTube, you know? Get them done. But since I'm doing a full-time full job, I don't feel like I can do that. I have to end up setting that off to the side and build on later. Um, but I definitely want to get started on it this year. So, also, I end up buying myself a little Jirachi um, for the new year. So each one of these tags is a pretty much a wish tag is the way that the and the lore goes. So I bought myself Jirachi for New Year's resolutions and the hopes for New Year. Hopes for a better year. Um and looking towards the future. So we have our little Jirachi for the new year. And throughout January, um, he will be up here, right, right there where I'm pointing, right between Arc Nine and Nine Tails. And I don't know, placing a lot of faith in a little plushie, but hey, I'm being corny about it. I'm enjoying it. So projects, I will end up updating you guys in two years two years wow whoa whoa no time out two months so look forward to that hopefully in two months we could go and be done with some projects um if that's the case um i end up i'll move on and i'll end up dropping you guys a new update video going so get ready for new stuff um i'm excited i'm actually i don't know what time is it actually not going to be able to record tonight, unfortunately. Um, I got things to do. Um, and now, I see, I got to go pick up my wife here in about 30 minutes, so. Because she's working two jobs. <laughs> um, trying to get things set up. So, we're moving on. We're chugging along. So, without further ado, love you guys. Thank you for your support. 
If you like this video, if you like any of my videos, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. As always, catch you guys in the next one. Stay frosty. Bye.